When the original iPhone was introduced in 2007, it started at $499, which had quite a few reactions. $500? Since then, smartphones have become increasingly more versatile. From watching Netflix to paying your rent, they have become an easy way to control almost everything with our fingertips. And as more and more of our lives started revolving around these devices, their value kept rising iPhone sales have constantly increased over the years. So have prices. The highest variant of the iPhone XS on launch costed $1,449 in the US, $1,900 in India, and reached highs of $1,971 in Italy. Smartphones are getting better and better. With the bar already set high, every new model is expected to be faster, more durable, have better battery life, and a lot of other things. With a $75 battery replacement, a two-year-old phone can easily go another year. The result is evident. People are no longer buying phones as often as before. Take a look at this chart showing the average number of months it takes a user to replace their phone. The average upgrade cycle in the US in 2018 is 32 months, up from 25 months in 2017. That's a staggering 28% increase. Apple is aware of this. By producing and marketing a relatively future-proof device, they can label a higher price. In 2018, Google made the same call and increased prices of the Pixel lineup. So did Samsung, because someone in the market for a high-end smartphone is not going to discriminate much about the price, especially if they plan to use it for at least a couple of years or more and for those limited fancy color versions. In fact, a lower price might prompt a few potential users to slip away, since high cost is subconsciously equated with higher quality, whereas a lower price product could be considered inferior. This kind of reverse psychology is used more commonly than you would think by several brands. More on this in a later video, so do subscribe. But of course, there will be people with a lower budget. Enter the iPhone XR. When talking about any Apple device, one important thing to look at is the premium factor. Apple products are generally regarded as elite, and arguably one of the biggest reasons for its sale is the brand image. That and ecosystem, of course. Nobody wants to be known as the guy with the cheap iPhone. The XR sits at a sensitive position. Price it too low and the premiumness is gone. Price it higher and, well… So, will the iPhone keep getting costlier? For the past few months, Apple's stock prices have been plunging. It's no longer the world's most valuable company, has cut prices of phones soon after launch, and starting 2019 will not reveal any sales figures. City analyst William Yang believes Apple will sell 45 million iPhones during its first quarter of 2019, its lowest number in the past seven years. The price limit surely has been crossed.